So a couple of months ago, I made the decision to get back on TikTok. I thought of it as an untapped market. Okay, I felt like there were millions and millions of people on there that I had not reached. Now, it's worth noting that at this time, I had around 2,000 followers on TikTok from before. And I wanna say I had between 22 to 24,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I was doing a lot better on YouTube than I was on TikTok. As of right now, I have 75,000 followers on TikTok and 28,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I feel like building my following that quickly on TikTok was a little bit detrimental to my YouTube growth. TikTok took up a lot of my time and that is the first reason why TikTok is dangerous, okay? TikTok is a problem in the sense that it is the easiest app to put away hours going through your feed. Now, if you're not really familiar with TikTok, they have this thing called a For You page. It's basically a bunch of content that has been picked by the algorithm to be shown specifically to you based on content that you've liked or interacted with in the past. Basically, you have an endless feed, okay? It is infinite, an endless feed of content that is suited for you, okay? It is catered specifically to you, and of course, there's a reason why they do this. They wanna keep you on the app as long as possible. Now, obviously, from a business perspective on their end, I definitely understand where they're coming from in doing that, but you have to understand as a consumer the dangers of participating in that. That's why it's very easy to get caught up spending hours and hours and hours on end watching the videos on your For You page, okay? This is something that can happen on YouTube, but the videos aren't as accessible. That's why I don't consider YouTube to be social media because you don't have to watch the videos that you see. You see videos and it is your choice to click on them. On TikTok, you don't have that choice, okay? They're just there. And in addition to that, the videos are short. They're all one minute long or less, which makes it that much easier to consume that many more videos in a short amount of time. What ends up happening is you mindlessly consume these things and you think that you're not keeping that information with you, but you are. Mindless consumption of this caliber is dangerous to a lot of people because it will affect your subconscious perceptions of yourself and of the world and thus the reality that you will experience. You might see something on there that you may have forgotten about consciously, but your subconscious mind hasn't forgotten about it. And now you're wondering why you're feeling lonely, why you're feeling broke, why you're having trouble enjoying life. And not only that, but these short videos kill people's attention spans. A lot of children, a lot of younger people, which is the target demographic for TikTok, already have short attention spans as it is. But seeing a bunch of videos that are one minute or less does not help that at all. Now, like I said, I understand from TikTok's perspective why this is a good thing for them. But at the same time, you have to understand that watching all of these short videos is not really gonna do you much good. You're not doing yourself any favors mentally in terms of your attention span. You're gonna find that it'll be much harder to watch a YouTube video or to listen to a podcast, or to read a book. You know, you're gonna find these things that much more difficult, that much more stressful, because your attention span is being shortened and shortened, and in addition to that, you're receiving instant gratification, these instant rushes of dopamine. Like I said, it's very easy to grow a platform on there. If you focus solely on building your platform, you will, okay? The way that the algorithm works, if you provide even half decent content at a consistent clip, you will build a following very quickly. And while that can be a good thing from a marketing perspective, from a mindset perspective, this can really mess you up because it can put you in the instant gratification mindset. And that's what happened to me. You know, yesterday I filmed a video, which is probably already out, about how I felt like I was losing myself a little bit because I was being impatient. You know, I felt like things weren't taking off as quickly as I wanted them to. And what I had to do is I had to take a step back and realize that I have 28,000 subscribers right now, and I built that platform in basically less than two years, which is still a very short amount of time to have built the following that I have. On TikTok, I was able to get 75,000 followers in a matter of two months. I almost feel like it's not a stretch to say that TikTok is a little too easy to build the following on. Like I said, it's so easy to build a following and to 
establish that group think and that's very dangerous you know i don't even think i need to go into why group think is dangerous okay you do not want to have people that can't think for themselves like i said a lot of this is because they're consuming this content at such a fast clip and the content that they're consuming is unknowingly going into their subconscious mind and because these people are generally younger because the TikTok demographic tends to be younger a lot of these people are at critical periods for mental development and finding their own identity in life so to be subject to that group think at such a young age it makes me wonder where we're going as a generation okay it makes me wonder what this next generation of people is going to look like and it's scary it's very scary and that's why i always encourage people to create more than they consume because creation helps you find yourself another problem with being able to build a following so quickly is that a lot of people believe it or not are not ready to have such a following they're not ready for the responsibilities that come with that you know it is a large responsibility to know that thousands of people are tuning in to see your content and i feel like some people take this kind of lightly but like you are affecting thousands and thousands or even millions of people every video that you post and that's something that as a youtuber you know i'm very well aware of this but for people that aren't experienced in content creation and building an audience and expressing themselves in that way they might not mentally be prepared for that you know and a lot of times it's very easy especially with an app like tiktok where you know it's validation oriented it's very easy to associate your self-worth and self-perception with your follow count with that number next to your name and that's a scary thought it's a very scary thought because just as quickly as you can build your platform your platform can die and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to make this video right now i went from getting 500 followers a day to losing like 100 followers a day and it's not like i got canceled nothing like that happened it's just overnight my platform started dying down this just goes to show you that just as quickly as it comes it can go and when you attach your self-worth to a follow count and all of a sudden it's taken away from you like that that can be very very dangerous for your mental health now luckily for me i knew better i knew going into making videos on tiktok that this wasn't going to be something that had much longevity to it generally speaking not only in business but in life when something comes very quickly it usually won't stay for very long so i had that mindset going into this that tiktok was strictly a promotional tool but a lot of people are not going to have the presence of mind to understand what i understand you know especially at such a young age you know you have people that are 14 with 500,000 followers overnight they're not ready for that you know this takes a certain level of mental fortitude and understanding who you are as a person <laughs>